Welcome to Turning Hard Times to Good Times. I am your host, Jay Taylor, and I'm speaking to you from New York City on this, the ninth day of February 2021. I do want to thank each of you for listening to this show, making it one of the more popular shows in the Voice America Business Channel. And as always, we want to thank our sponsors for making this show economically viable. Our sponsors for today's show, Cassier Gold Corp., SK Mining, Novo Resources, Sitka Gold Corp., El Oro Resources, Hannon Metals, Irving Resources, Fury Gold Mines, Great Bear Resources, and Lion One Metals. I've titled today's show, Extraordinarily, Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds. Kevin Duffy, Duffy and Dr. Quentin Henning are my guests today. Americans are losing their First Amendment rights. That has been a key to what has made this country a free and prosperous nation. But not only have we citizens been losing our ability to think and share our thoughts with others, for decades now the monetary markets have not been free to speak as well because the Fed, as well as other central banks around the world, have distorted the voice of markets to efficiently price capital. Because central banks have made money appear to be inexpensive, as Austrian school economists have been warning for years, capital is being allocated inefficiently with grave consequences for the economy. Not only is capital misallocated to businesses that are not profitable, but when money can be borrowed without any cost, people spend more and save less, causing a huge imbalance. We are in we in the United States could get away with this for many decades as long as the net exporter nations continued to buy US treasuries. But those days appear to be drawing to a close, so that the Fed is now caught between a rock and a hard place. In order to fund our massive deficit, the natural market solution would be to allow interest rates to rise to the equilibrium level where the market would be cleared. But that would not only throw our economy into an immediate depression worse than that of the 1930s, but it would also cause the U.S. deficit to rise to levels that would expose our country's bankruptcy, our state of bankruptcy, I believe causing an instant dollar collapse. It seems obvious to uh, market observers with an open mind that the Fed has only one politically viable option, and that is to hyperinflate the dollar, which is why some of the titans of American industry are now starting to buy large amounts of Bitcoin, and some who have not been totally brainwashed are also loading up on gold and silver, both of which have proven to be time-honored money for thousands of years. I will be speaking with hedge fund manager Kevin Duffy in the second half of today's show to find out how he is dealing with these troubled realities of our day. But right now, I'm really pleased to tell you that Dr. Quentin Henning is with me to give us an update on a couple of very, uh, very, very exciting sponsors to this show, a couple of them that I just mentioned to you a moment ago. And then uh, Dr. Henning, uh, Dr. Quentin Henning will be with me in the second uh, segment of this show today to talk about another sponsor, Irving Resources. But right now I'm really thankful that he's here to talk about a couple of the others that, are, that I'm really excited about and I know my subscribers are very excited about. Thanks for joining me today, Dr. Henning. Absolutely, Jay. It's always good to hear your voice, uh, especially when the things that you're talking about are doing so well on the exploration front. And one that uh, I first learned to know you going back several years now is Novo Resources. And congratulations on that because it looks like we're heading, uh, that company is heading towards production um, with perhaps within a few days from now. Can you give us the, uh, just, just give us the story of Novo Resources. Give us a quick review and, and where it's at with regard to its production plans. Yeah, look, uh, Novo is, uh, you know, it's a instant success, 10 years in the making kind of story. So, <laughs> you know, basically, uh, you know, I started the company at a very conceptual level that there's gold in conglomerates in the Pilbara region and that they have value. Like there's a, a path to economic extraction. You know, fast forward 10 years, here we are. We are uh, on the precipice of going into production. Our mill is turning. Uh, we got our approvals. We announced that late last week. Our mill is now turning. Uh, we've got ore being stockpiled. Uh, that rock is now going through the mill. And in the next few days, maybe the next couple of weeks, once the carbon charges and you know all circuits go, uh, we should be able to pour gold. I mean, this is a momentous moment for the company. It, it'll demonstrate the viability of these conglomerates. It'll show people that 
not only Beaton's Creek and the Nulligan area there uh, have this wonderful potential, but that we can now unlock the rest of the potential across the Pilbara. And we got the right team to do it. Look, we have the A team. We have the single best team operating in Australia. Yeah, I mean, because you are an exploration geologist, your forte is not uh, is not production, but you certainly have brought on a very strong group of, uh, of management team that's very, very strong. So my confidence level is very high. Maybe just real quickly, you said across the Pilbara, give our listeners an idea of the, of the magnitude of this, because it is just absolutely enormous. Yeah, look, we have about 13,500 square kilometers uh, as everyone knows, we have other projects, other conglomerate gold projects. Karatha is next on the on the queue. Uh, we're going to do the trial mining, trial processing uh, later this year, or actually not too too long from now. And uh, we hope to dovetail that, it effectively just bootstrap it straight into the, the production scenario at Beatons. We, we think we can produce concentrate out of Karatha and ship it over to Beatons. Um, right. The, yeah, but that that takes us to the other conglomerates. We got Virgin Creek, Contact Creek, and brand new ones that you know, like like Edgina is is a derivative of the conglomerate story. We have huge potential, and we're going to start unlocking these things one by one. It's very very exciting. Well, that's uh, you know that's the one I know you best from uh, Noble Resources. But since I've learned to know you, you've you've also brought some others to my attention that you are involved with SK Mining, a sponsor of this show. Uh, talk real quickly about SK and what they have going for them. Look, SK, we we got our last uh, drill assays from the 2020 season. Fantastic results. 35 and a half meters of 10.6 gram gold equivalent. Unbelievable results for an early stage project. Basically, 18 out of 20 holes hit. I did a, a live broadcast for Crescat last week, last Thursday. People can go to that and they can watch the video, and then I think we've done one too recently. So yes, indeed. it's an exciting story. We're gearing up our drill program for this year, like 30,000 meters of drilling plan. We have lots of drilling to follow up on this exciting discovery. People ask about this Garibaldi acquisition, the shares in that. We bought Eric Sprott's shares in Garibaldi recently. You know what? We did that because we know the geology of this area very well. Our team recognizes that there are probably three anticlines hosting this precious metal-rich BMS mineralization. We wanted to maximize our, our footprint across the district, and and in, this was the, the quickest, easiest path to do so. So we have uh, basically a commanding position over the entire SK VMS district. That's really exciting. Um, and still another one is El Oro uh, involved in Bolivia. Really a very exciting silver story. Talk to us about that. You know, they're drilling now. It is exciting. Every single day, I, I, you know, I get more and more excited. Look, the drilling is now deep. It's into the bright ship pipes. And what we see is remarkable. Uh, expect assays from the first deep hole back sometime in the next, within the next couple of weeks, easily. Uh, you know, but the, the key to watch there is size. This thing's going to grow and grow. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's absolutely huge. And it's a polymetallic deposit, I believe, isn't it? Um, it's silver, but it has a lot of other things in it as well. It does. It's got silver, but it's got lead, zinc, bismuth, indium, tin. Tin is increasingly valuable these days. And it also has gold, okay? Uh, most of these systems do not have gold. We've got significant gold. Look at the tables, the assays in the last news release. You'll see what I mean. It's like a, an absolute smorgasbord of the periodic table. Well, it's uh, another very exciting story in the magnitude. I mean, you are known as, uh, you know, go big or go home, um, and that's your philosophy, and, and obviously you're involved with these as advisors to both of those companies um, because Correct. you really believe in the potential of the companies. And as, as I know, you also are very particular about the, uh, about the technical teams that you hook up with, and you need to have people that, that know what they're doing uh, as well. So. I'm really looking forward to, to that story as well as the one we're going to talk to you about right after our commercial break. We do have to take a break now. But Irving Resources is another very fascinating story. Uh, it's unique as well. Almost everything that Dr. Henning does seems to be have some uniqueness to it, that's for sure. And Irving is no exception. So we look forward, uh, Dr. Henning, to have you back right after the break to talk about Irving Resources and what they're doing in Japan. 